So we'll just quickly go through what uh, a healthy um, crop is. So good soil health, uh, to give us a healthy crop, uh, requires a very active um, microbiological biomass. And that's what we're lacking when we've had um, a, a soil that has had consistent uh, chemical application. So the microbial biomass isn't there because the reason for the, for the various microbes to be there has been taken away by the fact that there's an external source of the particular element that they might be harvesting has been, taken, has, has been done from outside. So if we're going to get nutrient cycling from the soil, we have to have this whole um, sort of army of, of, um, of microbes and um, earthworms and anthropods and whatever. They all have to be there because each one of them contributes to a cycle. Uh, one eats the other, eats the other, eats the other, and in the release, uh, because their food requirement, their carbon nitrogen food requirement is slightly different, there's a constant um, um, uh, release into the uh, soil environment around the plant of things like nitrogen, like carbon, that's then in a plant available, uh, plant available form that the plant can take up. And so if we don't have these things here, then the only source of nutrient that the plant has is what you put on externally. And that's when you put on your urea, your superphosphates, and your, your nitrogens and whatever. Once you start that cycle, you have to do it all of the time. But let me put it to you. If you have to put something on year after year after year after year, is that not telling you that this is not a sustainable system? Because if what you were doing was working and was being totally used, then you'd probably only have to put it on once or twice. It should be there. It should be accumulating. It's not. It's being leached away. So without, without this, this group of organisms, we have not got the soil working for us. The only reason that you have healthy plants, regardless of the crop, is that you are putting a constant supply of external source in, nutrient in, and one or two or half a dozen percent of what you're putting in is being used. The rest, the rest you're paying the chemical company to keep their staff on board. Not doing you any good. Um, canopy management, um, again this is relating to vines, but it also relates to if, if, you're, if you're growing um, uh, the various berry, berry fruits, the same thing. Uh, the amount of canopy, the amount of leaf that you require um, is, 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 is a very much relationship to the amount of fruit you're taking off. But all over, hopefully in that management, you've got a good coverage of your beneficials. And we were talking about how do we get those good guys up into the canopy. Well, as long as there's good biological activity in the soil, it's, it's drifting up into the canopy the whole time. 